Hey guys, it's Michael from Family Gamer Review, and today we're going to do a review on Rocket League. Rocket League is rated E through 10. It's available currently on the PC, the PlayStation 4, and now the Xbox One at the time of this recording. Rocket League is a fun game. This is one of the few family games that you could actually play, you know, on a split screen on the same console. It is a very easy to pick up game, and I would highly recommend this title to everyone. But let's go ahead and start the review, and I'll show you why. As you see here in Rocket League, it is literally soccer. That's all it is, guys. It is soccer where you are in sports cars. You could go forward, backwards, and your objective is to get the ball into the net. If you've played soccer, like which most of us almost have in our lifetime, this is just a, the basis of the game. There's like a league you could play in where you know you could set up the league, you could set up the exhibitions. There's a training mode. It, it's not much to this other than the fact that it is a game that's soccer and. This has been a very popular game both on the PC and the PlayStation, so when they made the move to Microsoft to get it on the Xbox, I was very happy. And a lot of gamers out there were saying, oh, it's just soccer with cars. But no, this is a fun game. This is one of those rare family fun games that everyone could play. Now, with some people saying there should be more to it, not necessarily. This is just soccer at its best, dude. And, and this is just one of those rare fun games you want to play. Now, there is, you know... A season mode and you know you could go and customize your car as you're seeing here you could customize the wheels the antenna the the streaks come from turbo down to the body itself of the car now based on console specifics there are you know you know exclusives like the Xbox one has you know the Gears of War car they also has the halo car that you could also get I'm not sure about the PlayStation exclusives but they are exclusive to each console so you'll have to check and see now the ESRB gave this an E through 10 and the reason why it's an E through 10 and not an E is because of user rated and user generated content that is not regulated. So parents, if they take their kids online, you may want to check to see what content's out there because some of it may not be appropriate for the whole family. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, let me give my honest review. I and, and Camille here, we both played it and we had some of our ch friends here that have children with special needs. They played it. They had no problems getting with the control. Now, some gamers may find it frustrating because it just feels like you're driving around the course. And at times, I felt that also. But, you know, playing with a fellow gamer of mine the other day, he kind of showed me that this game is something that will take some time to get used to with the controls. You know, as you see there, you have to do your timing correctly. So for families that have, you know, young and old, you know, members that may have challenges with the controls, this may be something... You may want to sit and play with them or something that you may want to supervise with them as they make it a little frustrating for them playing the game. Is that saying that this is a deterrent for it? No. I feel that if anything, which just like anything else in life, if you practice long enough on it, you will master the controls. The game developers made the controls very simplistic for that reason and that reason alone. Now... I also will say that it, it is sometimes that challenging, and because it's an online game, please keep in mind you want to make sure your children are playing in a safer online environment. They could pick up and play online, they could join any types of leagues and matches and so forth. So if you're kind of concerned about where they're playing and who they're playing with, it's best to monitor their online gaming habits. Again, this game is a multiplayer game, so you know, and you could play it by yourself, but again, just guys, just be careful with who you letting your children play with. Now, we gave this game a 9 out of 10. Simplicity, beautiful design, beautiful controls, very easy pick up and play, phenomenal soundtrack, great multiplayer action as well as single player action. A great overall game for both, all for all types of family members from young to old. In conclusion, again, just monitor your children's habits playing online. You could even set up passwords. So if you have friends that have this game, they could set up passwords so only they could join the game themselves, which is a great refreshing thing. Other than that, Rocket League is fun for the whole family. And, you know, if you could get through some of the, you know, nick picky of the controls, I guarantee you're going to have fun with this. We at Family Gamer Review are going to start sending up Rocket Leagues for all family members to play, so please stay tuned with that on our website. Again, guys, great game. Definitely recommend to pick this up. This is Michael from Family Gamer Review, and I thank you so much for tuning in, and enjoy your day. Take care.